Hey guys, Dan here, and uh, I had to share a Christmas story with you. Okay, me and Justin just got back from the mall. We live in Charlotte, North Carolina. We were at South Park Mall. I do look festive. Mmm, yummy. Um, so me and Justin are going through the mall, just, you know, all up, you know, very upset at all the capitalism that's taking place and just horrible. So we are... Coming around the corner, and we're like, oh, you know, they had a little Santa Claus display, but it looks different. I heard some rap music, and, you know, we um smelled marijuana, which, yeah, I know, Justin's nothing wrong with that. So we roll up there, and we see, lo and behold, it's a black Santa Claus, African-American Santa Claus. Sorry, Justin, I just got so excited. Because when I was a kid, I would ask my grandfather, why, why is there not an African-American Santa Claus? And then he used to whip me with a belt and say, not in his lifetime. Well, guess what, Grandpa? It's not in your lifetime. That's right. Ooh, he passed. Grandpa passed away four years ago. So anyway, we roll up there, and I see, you know, this African-American Santa Claus, and he didn't have any mistletoe. It looks suspiciously like weed to me. Um, and there was no elves or little people, just, you know, slightly heavy set white girls. But it was so much, it was so much better than that boring, boring Caucasian Santa Claus. Um, the only time I was a little offended, Justin cried. Um, me and Justin simply told the lady with the long fingernails that was taking, you know, taking the pictures with the kids. We were like, can we sit on Santa's lap and tell him what we want for Christmas? And she was like, excuse me? I was like, what? Did you pass gas? She like, excuse me? I was like, I don't understand. She's like, you better get on out of here. So that was a little, that was rude, Justin. I know, I just wanted to, I've never sat on Santa Claus's lap because it was never African-American. So that was, you know, that was the downside, but it just warms my heart to see that. He had like, instead of like that big stupid red bag, he had a Gucci bag. Um, although, and I'm not being too critical, I'm just saying, um, the stuff that was in the bag had tags on it still. I know, Justin. I feel like a Republican even bringing this up. But, you know, if you made things in the North Pole, why are there tags on it? But that's, you know what? Who am I to judge? I don't judge. I do not judge. But here's the thing. There was a lot of really, really uptight, you know, white Karens there. Hmm. They didn't let their kids sit on his lap. Exactly, Justin. That's racist. So, I honestly, it, you, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, they were passing out little BLM masks, you know, little, you know, little candy canes. Um, and I was about to get some, little, you know, hot chocolate, and um, it wasn't hot chocolate. It was something purple, no ice. So, honestly, it just makes me happy to celebrate Christmas again. Anything's better than a manger scene. <laughs> Reason for the season. That's right. It's gifts. It's being festive. It's the holidays. But I, anyway, I just want to share that with you guys. I finally got to see an African-American Santa Claus. Woo. It was so nice. Um, we, you know, we left before the, you know, not elves, the white girls started twerking. That was crazy. That may, maybe that was a little bit inappropriate. But anyway, resist.